got another full moon coming up and this is awesome because this is basically okay it's your planetary ruler okay and also <laughs> there's just so much in this card it has the fixed energy in it you know of uh, Taurus Leo Scorpio and Aquarius so this is a transmutation of energy right and that's how it connects to you being your 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 ancient ruler right transmuting the energy that's why the infinity symbol is there as well we have highs and lows everything is connected to understanding that and where there is uh we have different seasons okay because the fixed signs basically they kind of rule the season that they're in because they're right in the middle it's not beginning it's not ending and that's definitely what this infinity symbol is it is not beginning or ending it's very cyclical you know this is also saying that you're getting another chance at something right this is definitely self-mastery. Maybe you've mastered the idea of something. Uh, there is a sense of pride here in, in how you've gotten to this. You've reached something. Because Saturn, this is Saturn, right? And Saturn is the, the planet that is the furthest away that you can still see with the naked eye. So it's kind of making it to a point that you never thought that you would. You've overcome obstacles. You have not allowed yourself to be defeated. You <laughs> have found creativity, the constant creativity in the process, right? This is having a, a, a broadened perspective, okay? And you have some useful knowledge, your opinion, important <laughs> and um, I'm only saying that because it's you know not being afraid to have an opinion okay because Saturn is exalted in Libra and a lot of times Libra won't share or express the opinion because it knows that it might cause conflict or it might become intimidating so this is not being intimidated by life. It's saying that there is a season for everything, you know? Maybe you've outgrown some aspect of yourself, your younger self, right? Something has become obsolete, you know? You're no longer able to sustain something, right? And for some of you, uh, you have reached a point where you will always be able to sustain yourself. This is very much connected to self-reliance. Um, I'm trying to think, what does the, the third ray? That's kind of cancer, okay? So this could be like, uh, this could be connected to your mother. Um, uh, so maybe things could have finally gotten better with the relationship that you have with your mother because this is definitely connected to like the energy of the empress okay mother child uh, and trusting that process too definitely connected to it's your faith also that kind of like helped you and i'm not just talking about religion i'm just talking about you know the belief that you know anything can happen and that good can come from a situation or a circumstance 
this is definitely the adversity, the challenges that you've been presented with, that you have kind of passed with flying colors. You know, because it's almost like, <laughs> it's funny, like in the ballroom scene, right? And we're talking about not dance, but we're talking about um, like both. You get, a, you get a 10 or you get the chop. Okay, and the 10th house is Capricorn. Saturn rules the 10th house. And the 10 is mastery. And it's mastering yourself because the 10 reduces to a 1. And that is you. Okay? So, you definitely deserve a pat on the back from yourself. Okay, because sometimes, you know, uh, I have a very significant Saturn placement. So, you know, <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> uh, but I love it because it, it makes you stronger and uh, it, it sort of gives you a take no shit attitude and being unapologetic about that take no shit attitude. Now, sometimes, the Aquarians out there, you know, when you're in that lower vibrational energy, you could be giving zero fucks too hard sometimes, and it could be coming from a place of not knowing how intimidating the words can be, and that is because your 12th house is also ruled by Saturn. Anyway, you have matured nonetheless, and you are ready for a new experience. It's no longer, you know, if you were, if, if you have outgrown like the ways that you were in your college life, your college days, or maybe the ways that you were before you actually uh, had children. Maybe some of you could be pregnant because like I said, this is just connected to the Empress. So maybe knowing that in a year's time or in 10 months or 9 months or whatever it is, because you know, some people plan, you're going to have a, a shift in your perspective that is due to, you know, you maturing, growing up, that kind of thing. But you're sort of proud about this. It's not like you want to hold on to the past, you know, because it's like the things that we once, you know, enjoyed and basked in, we don't forever. You just can't, you know, just because it's like there's more to life than, you know, what you've always done or what you are uh, familiar with. It's time to familiarize yourself with something else. And this is a new chapter. So this is good. Your reading is actually quite long, Aquarius. But your full moon is coming up and you have a second one, right? And Cancer is connected to the third ray. This is 21. That is a three. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Full moon in Aquarius, okay? So completion. You have changed something has been illuminated for you and everything makes more sense now okay <laughs>